All right, boys and girls, today we're going to practice our pointillism project, which is making art using just dots. So we're gonna start with practicing how to use marker in the class. We're gonna start with our doodle pad. So you guys can get out your doodle pads. Go ahead and get those out and get them ready. Because we're gonna practice making dots first. I'm gonna open up to an empty page. Opening up to an empty page just like this. We're opening up to an empty page. And I want you guys to get out our blue marker. If you don't have a blue in there, you can use whatever color. Oh, here it is. Here's my blue marker. So notice, guys, on our marker, you have a little tip. You see that tip? We're gonna use that tip straight down on the doodle pad to make a dot. Now, if I press really soft, oh, first things first. When you take these markers out, you wanna take off the cap. When you put it away, you put it back on and you push until you hear a click. You have to keep your markers covered so that they don't get dry, okay? Then I take my top off and you can put the cap on the end so that you don't lose it. We don't want to lose our caps because then our markers will get dry. So looking at this, when you make a dot with a marker, if I press super soft, I get a really, really tiny dot. But we want to get a bigger dot than that. The thing is, we don't want to press super, super hard because look, we get a blob. And also, it bleeds through our paper. We don't want to do that. So we don't want to press too soft because we get that. If we press too hard, we get that. You can put your marker straight down like it's standing on its head. And you get a medium sized dot. You see that size dot? That's what you want. You want it to be pressed kind of hard, but not too hard. So I'm just coloring some things in here. See that guys? Pretty cool. I love it. Make practice making some medium sized dots. Not too hard, not too soft. Maybe you can try a different color. Maybe you can close your blue, click it, I can try my orange. I can try all kinds of colors. But remember, we don't want tiny dots, right? Yes. You want to make nice, big dots. I just hold my marker like this, and I press down and make a dot, just like so. Keep practicing that, guys. Use some different colors. And I'm gonna give you guys a pencil because next up we're gonna draw something on our other paper. But I'm gonna come bring you a pencil first. So practice that, practice, practice making dots. Getting, you've practiced making dots enough. So let's close our doodle pad and let's go to this blank paper that I gave you guys. Just the blank paper. It's gonna be up and down like this, up and down, up and down vertical, not sideways, up and down. Let's take the pencil. Take a pencil that I just gave you. We're gonna draw, we're gonna draw something first, but I don't want you to press hard. I don't want you to press hard with the pencil. Don't press hard, we're gonna press really soft. Let's start by making a circle. Now this is gonna be an ice cream cone. Do y'all want a big ice cream cone or a small ice cream cone? We want a big one. So let's draw a nice big scoop of ice cream first. 
Actually, no. Let's do our let's do our cone first. It makes more sense to do that. I'm gonna draw a letter. What letter is this that I'm making? The letter V. It's on the bottom half of my page. It's almost touching the bottom, and it's on halfway is the top of the V, halfway of the page. So make a letter V on the bottom half of your page. When you're ready, put your thumbs in the air so I know we can move on. Good job. Now, the next step, using my pencil, I'm going to make a curved line. This is gonna be my ice cream scoop. We want a nice big scoop of ice cream. I'm gonna make a curved line going up almost to the top of the page to the side of my cone, just like that. Can you guys do that for me? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Make your curved line. Thumbs up when you're ready. Next step, we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna do a curved line. Watch this. From here, because we need the bottom of our ice cream, right? A curved line going all the way across. This is all soft. We did this very soft, right? Now let's talk about colors, guys. Down here is our cone. Up here is our ice cream. What color could our cone be? I'm, I'm thinking when I see a cone, I always think of like a, a, a brownish. But we don't have, I don't want to use brown because brown is kind of dark. So I want to use two colors here. I want to use our yellow and our orange for the cone. For the ice cream, I'm going to make some strawberry ice cream. So I'm going to make some red and some pink for the ice cream scoop. So for the cone, we use yellow and orange. For the scoop, we're going to use pink and red. So inside this shape, I'm gonna make nice big dots that are pink. You see how I'm making dots everywhere? I'm gonna fill this whole area with dots. Then I can use red too. You could even use a little bit of purple too if you wanted. But you're gonna fill this whole shape with those dots. I'm not doing this, right? Am I coloring it in? I'm not coloring it in either. I am doing dots. This is how we do it. So we're gonna do that. On the cone shape, we're going to make orange all over the place. Make sure they don't touch each other, but you want them to be as close as they can. And add yellow dots, maybe a tiny bit of brown if you wanted. So you guys can keep making dots. If you keep on going, it'll look something like this. Look at that. After you fill, I think this still needs even more dots, right? After you fill it, fill it, fill it with dots, then you can erase the pencil lines and look how it's gonna look in the end. Look at all those dots, guys. You see how we have our yellow and orange cone and our pink and red ice cream with some purple sprinkles on it? After you finish this, you erase those lines, then you can write your name on the bottom, and that is our Pointillism ice cream cone project for today, guys. I want you to take your time, do your best work. Don't press too hard, don't press too soft for the dots. Let's do it.